Today's video, we're gonna show you how to take this hutch that I already painted over the weekend while Zeb was gone at the lake. Someone's gotta go boating. <laughs> it was a beautiful lake. We're gonna distress it, fix the glass, get all the paint off of there, seal it, and then we'll take you with us to the shop and show you how we reorganize. We had some things sell, we recently had a market, and we've gotta get it all fixed up for the summer. So we painted this high chair on our Saturday Night Live with Fresh Crush. It's already starting to chip, but I need to distress it with the orbital and then we'll take the air hose and hose that off. Then it'll be ready for sealing. I think we'll probably just use a clear top coat. I don't think it's so chippy that it needs a wax and then it'll be ready for the shop. So on these rungs, it's kind of hard to hit it with a flat sander. So I just like to hand sand these and get them all nice and smooth. So the high chair did not turn out super chippy, so we're good to go ahead and use top coat on it. Just know that if you use top coat on milk paint that has chipped, it is possible it could make it chip more. But in this case, I would totally welcome that. I'm gonna be using my mask. I've got Sweet Pickens Top Coat in my gun. I'll have Zeb drop that link below for how to spray top coat. And I'm just gonna spray the sealer on here. This is that little scallop shelf that we had where I measured uh, twice and cut three times because the piece was wrong. So I'm just putting the brackets on here and we'll finish this off, it just needs sealed. This piece was painted with white swan, but I ran out. Can you believe it? I ran out of white swan. So then I decided to paint it in weathered wood and I had a few drips. So we sanded those, repainted those areas and I'm getting ready to distress it. So you kind of notice when it distresses that you're gonna have the dark with the white peeking through and then some of the original finish, which I think is gonna be fun. The magic of the razor blade and foaming glass cleaner. So much easier than taping and it's uh, therapeutic. Yeah, it's like peeling paint off your hand when you're a little kid. Although, I have to say, don't do it if you're not gonna have any distress at all because sometimes you take it off of where you don't necessarily want it taken off of. Yep, if your finish isn't cured, sometimes you get a little extra distress around the window. We don't mind or if it's not sealed right, that's not good either. Honestly, any glass cleaner would probably work. We just like the foaming glass cleaner because it stays where you put it a little longer. So I am here in Hobby Lobby. Jamie got an email right before we got here and she's in the car dealing with that. So she's like, hey, go get knobs because we're missing a knob on the top of that little hutch. So hopefully I do good. The trouble is this. I didn't bring an old knob with me and we need just kind of small little knobs. They're kind of brassy, but they're a little bit more ornate than something like that would be. Sometimes we just go clear knobs on something like that. This might go pretty well. They're not half off, but I only need two of them. So not a huge deal. Oh, decisions, decisions. One of these guys. Oh, you know what? I think I like those right there. I just don't know if the color is right, but it's gonna be close enough. 
and they're only $3.99, so I'll use a 40% coupon on one of them. The new look that we're going towards is more neutrals, gray tones, some metallics with accents of black to kind of up the sophistication in here. This recently sold, this hutch here. So we are actually gonna unload it and move it into the hallway so when they come, it's ready to go. These four chairs are actually gonna go out front. We have this little covered porch area. We're gonna move those out front so that way hopefully somebody will see them out there and buy them. And then we're gonna rearrange this whole situation. In the next few weeks, I hope to sell a few more pieces and we're gonna be moving things in more towards my new style. So earlier we sealed this and we got it to the shop. We're feeling like it needs a little bit of white wax. We brought it just in case. This piece had a few stains and so we've got like a little bit of dark spot here and there where we weren't able to solve that with shellac. Wax is gonna fix all those issues and having the sealer on there already is gonna make it really easy to control this colored wax. Okay, so before that dries, this is a dry rag. I'm just gonna wipe it back and leave that down in the cracks and maybe I'm not quite wipe it all the way off and leave some on the high spots too, just to kind of blend that white in. And that's gonna completely change the color. You can see the difference between this. It's kind of a softer, lighter gray, which is great. We do like the dark. We're probably gonna come back in here with more of these, but this just had so many variations. We're gonna to try to tone those down with the white wax. So Jamie said I did okay on the knobs, I can go again. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> Hopefully next time when it's 50% off, although I did use a 40% off coupon. Oh, so I should've came in and bought the other knob? You should've told me I would've came in and saved a couple it's bucks. It's all right, it was $6 for both knobs. Okay, I'll let it pass. I always gotta use the coupon. Let's see how these look on here. I hope they, I think that the color will match. Like the. It's close, color. I think. It's gonna maybe be a little different because it always seems like the old brass knobs are a little brassier. These are more like oh. oil rubbed bronze. You have like white wax on your mustache. Did you get it? Nope, it's stuck in your beard for the day. All, All right. right. Okay, we'll check the okay. other ones out here in a sec. So I feel like that's pretty close. I mean, these are gonna be way up here. This is gonna be way down here. May or may not see it. You did good. <laughs> blow this up. Okay, you want me to add any white dishes or what are um, we doing? I'm trying to figure out what will fit in here. I don't have a lot of white dishes. Can you give me that white organizer thing? Yeah. This? With the books too? I don't know. I don't think the books are gonna stay. Give me a little white birdhouse there. Birdhouse coming up. Give me all those white candlesticks are on that. All the little ones? Mm -hmm. The salvage candlesticks. Those are in the basement, I forgot. Waste Not Wednesday product right here. Oh, don't drop them. Throwing them. You haven't even had them out. I think we brought them out for the market, didn't we? No, like I had them in the basement. Like I just brought them out this last week. Okay, so we need them down in the bottom here. Could you pass me what about these? those little corbels, the white rooster, and the little white candlesticks? The little corbels. Little corbels. The shorty, squatty ones. They're right there by the doggy. Okay, so corbels, which you can get at jamierayvintage.com, by the way. You can get these unfinished. Yep, they don't come finished. You get to put your own stamp on them. You need like something right there. Yeah, I'm not hating it. So 
So I used to paint hutches white on the inside, but a lot of people have white decor, milk glass, dishes, and such. So when you leave the inside dark, then all of your white items and dishes really pop. That hutch is working. Plus you can see those chippy shells. The other one hit it. I know that looks good. Yes. Oh, and we need to put it down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. down. There you go. Because right I might there. put some cutesy stuff on it. Okay. Oh, so you mean I actually have to like put it up there good enough that it's not going to fall off? Yeah. With stuff on it? Well, it's a shell. Yeah, yeah. But I usually just hang them for display. Well, I'm going to display stuff on it. What do you want me to do? Do you need the drill? Um, no, I'm just marking. Marking my Are you using nails? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to put screws in there. No, it's plaster. It won't make a difference. Alright, that's up there good. That's not, that's not coming off. It's good. I love redecorating this space. It's something that I can transition and transform at my will. Nobody messes with it for the most part and I can just collect to my heart's content. And I love that anytime I get inspired, I can always change things up and make it look all new again. Yeah, we still have some pops of color in here. There's a pink shelf over there. We've got an apothecary hutch, some Sweetie Jane stuff, you know, but for the most part, it's starting to come in with like some wood tones and whites and grays and blacks and it's really coming together. I feel like the next few pieces I'm gonna paint will have black in them because I need to add some more black big pieces in here, but otherwise I'm really excited about how it's coming along. If you guys are interested in achieving similar looks on your furniture, make sure you hit up jamierayvintage.com for all your DIY and paint needs. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.